Hey, Rice City Kids, we are back with week two of Shout Out, Let Them Know You Are Thankful. So that brings us to our life app for the month. And our life app for the month is gratitude. Letting others know you see how they've helped you. So in today's Bible story, we're gonna be learning about David dancing. That's right. It's gonna be in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 12 through 20. So, our bottom line is this. Celebrate what God has done. So before we jump into today's story, we're going to go over our memory verse for the month. You guys ready? Here we go. Give thanks to the Lord, because He is good. His faithful love continues forever. Psalm 136 All right, let's go ahead and buckle in and discover more about how we can celebrate what God has done. Here we go. Hey, what you doing? Reading. Ah, wasn't sure. I forgot. What? It's break dancing. Oh. out there in the worldwide world world yeah i'm brandon and i'm john and you're watching the, the so and so show a show where we bring you chills thrills Ooh. and spills why didn't you do that you said spill no i meant like like spills, like, you know, falling down. Oh, okay, I got it, spills. Like, okay, oh, right, I'll just, uh, yeah. Oh. Are you gonna clean that up? <clears throat> right, yeah. Anyway, we also hope we can bring you some truth about God and, and show you some ways we can honor him by how we live. That's amidst all the fun and hijinks. <laughs> hijinks, that is a great word. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, all clean. <laughs> Awesome. What's the plan for today? So glad you asked, Brandon. Mm. Today, I have invited someone on the show to talk about something I know you love. Ooh, crosswords? No. Alphabetizing? No. Sitting quietly alone? No, silly. Dancing! Oh, wow. I strongly dislike dancing. Then please welcome someone who knows stuff. Oh, cool. Amazing. 
amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who are you and uh, what do you know? My name is Parker and I'm a professional break dancer. How did you learn to do that? I had an amazing teacher. She taught me all the moves and helped me fall in love with the art of it, you know? Now I can't quit. Oh, oh. I wish I could do that. You can, man. Oh. Everybody's got a little dancing in them. All you gotta do is let it out. Well, can you teach us? I can try. Whoa! Hey! That's awesome! You ready to dance? You want me to break dance? Yes! Aren't you excited? Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's do it. First thing, we gotta work on your wardrobe. You got anything a little looser? Oh. Will, Will this, this work? work? That'll work. Haha. <laughs> All right, let me show you some steps. Okay. Come on. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sure. Okay, so today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys top rock. Oh, All right? Top so rock. first, okay. you wanna have your feet shoulder width apart, mm -hmm. knees slightly bent, okay. and arms crossed in front. Very nice. Okay, now you wanna take your right foot and step in front of your left and open your arms at the same time. Almost like you're saying what's up to somebody, like okay. a friend. Okay. Right? okay, cool, cool. And step. What's up? Very awesome. nice. Awesome. Very nice. Now you're gonna come back to center, cross your arms. Yeah. And now you want to repeat on the other side. Okay. okay. And remember to open your arms. Like, what's, what's up? up? Very oh, nice. nice, guys. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> now come back to center. And that's top rock. So we're going to go left. I mean, right. Yeah. Center. Yeah. Left foot. Center. Yeah. Right foot. Center. Yeah, okay. Left foot. Center. Like this? That's it. You're getting it. Yeah. Okay, this Easy is hard. enough, right? It's really hard. Keep working. Okay. You'll get there. Okay, so now let's try that step to some music. Oh, awesome, oh, boy. awesome. Oh, boy. Who's, who's, who, you, who do you want to go? John, me, you go me, first. Okay, 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 come on, cool. come on, come on. Okay. Awesome. Uh, All right. You ready? Yeah. And? Hit it. Nice. Ooh, nice, John. Hey, man. Nice, John, not bad for your first time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Brandon, what about you? Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Come on, man, you got it, come on. Show us, you got it. Okay, okay. <sighs> do the thing. I mean, hit it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Am I doing it? Is this it? Nice. You, I mean, you really think so? You're a natural. You really think so? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just, I, I, I just let the music move me, right? It was awesome. Uh, no, 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 seriously, how did you do that? So uh, thanks for coming on the show today, Parker. We should do it again someday. No doubt. Maybe next time you guys could teach me something? Ah, <laughs> All right, catch you later, guys. All right, bye. <laughs> wow, that was really a lot of fun. How did you do that? It's Bible story time with Cameron. Hey, fellas. Oh, our friend Kellen is taking a break, so Cameron is filling in for him this month. How's it going, Cameron? Can't complain. What's up with you guys? We were just break dancing. How did you do? What story you got for us today, Cameron? Well, it's funny that you were dancing because today's story has some dancing in it too. You see, King David. Ta da! I like to think about the dancing. Horvath. Horvath, that's my name. <laughs> did you want to help tell the story today? Let's do this. All right. Just in case you haven't met Horvath. That's my name. Right. This is how this works. I'll tell the Bible story, and whenever Horvath feels inspired, he'll jump in with an exercise that'll help us remember what the story's about. That's right! Yeah, I combine the mental trainings of learning the Bibles with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. All right, let's do this! Here we go. David was the king of Israel, and he wanted to bring the ark back to Jerusalem. The arks! Okay, first exercise. I call this, watch out for the floodings. 
We will do swimming motions for 38 hours, like this. Wait, 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 Horvath. Uh, that's not the Ark I'm talking about. Noah's Ark? No, that was a big boat. The Ark I'm talking about was a special box that contained the original Ten Commandments. Some say it even had the actual presence of God. This Ark was also called the Ark of Covenant, or the Ark of the Lord. So, no swimmies? No, no swimmies. <laughs> All right, let's do this! The Ark of the Lord had been stolen and had been away from Jerusalem for a long time. So King David and 30,000 of his best soldiers left Jerusalem to go and get the Ark. All right, first exercise. I call this exercise marching to the Ark really, really fast. We will march as fast as we can doing high knees like this. Do them with me, do them with me. And we will do this until we get okay. all the way to the Ark. Ah, go! Uh, uh, I'll just... <laughs> so, King David and his soldiers went to where the Ark of the Lord was being kept, the house of a man named Obed-Edom. Ah! Uh, 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 Dance! How did you beat me here? <sighs> <laughs> you okay, Horvath? You need to take a minute. I keep telling the stories! Oh, sure. When they found the ark, they put it on a cart and set out for Jerusalem. After only six steps, David sacrificed a bull and a fat calf as a way to honor God. Second exercises! I call this one six step calf squat. First you squat like this. Then you take six steps in place while squatting. One, six. Then you leap in the air with your arms meshed together like an ax and swing them down to a squat when you land like this. <laughs> we will do this 473 times. Oh, man. Go. One, one six, six, one, <laughs> eight feet, two, <sighs> mailbox, candy, 473. All right. What happened next, Cameron? Well, King David returned the Ark of the Lord to Jerusalem as planned. And he was so excited, he didn't even care that he wasn't dressed like a king when he got there. He danced with all his might before God and everyone wearing only some priestly undergarments. Oh, third exercise. I call this David dance party. Are you going to dance? I get embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> well, when David's wife, McCall, saw him dancing like that in front of everyone, she was really unhappy. She didn't think a king was supposed to act that way in public. Oh. Fourth exercise! I call this one miserly McCall trunk rotation. So you stand tall with your noses in the air like this. Then you fold your arms tightly like this. Then you rotate your trunk like this. We will do this five and a half times. A half? Go! One, the breeze, half. What's next? After the celebration, McCall told King David that he had made a fool of himself in front of everyone. Because of dancing? Yup. But, but he was only dancing because he was excited about the boats returning to the cities. Uh, <laughs> the Ark of the Lord was not a boat. No swimming. But you're right. David was dancing because he wanted to celebrate what God had done. He told McCall that it didn't matter who saw him do it. Honoring God was more important than honoring himself. Oh! Oh, I understand. So even if dancing embarrasses me, I should do it if it honors God? I mean, you don't have to dance. No, no! I will dance this to celebrate God. David Dance Party Part 2. Here goes. Five, six, three, he's 29. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, tell the story really fast one more time. Oh, okay, uh, go. David went to go get the ark. Marching to the ark. <laughs> they put the ark on a cart and took six steps. <laughs> oh, oh, six step calf squat, go. One, 28. <gasps> when they got to Jerusalem, David danced before God. David Day's party. But McCall was disappointed. Miserly Michael, trunk rotation. So David said celebrating God was more important than how he looked. David Day's body part two. <laughs> Excellent, Horvath. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh! Okay. Look! 
Okay. Ah! Horvat's gonna just keep dancing. Ah! The end, fellas. Wow. I love that story. David wasn't scared to show everyone how grateful he was to God. Yeah, he just went for it. Yup. There are tons of different ways to celebrate what God has done for us. We don't have to dress a certain way or act like everyone else. We can be loud. We can be quiet. We can stand out from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> we can do whatever he's doing. That's great, Cameron. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. No problem. Um, okay, see ya. <laughs> I've got a question. Okay, then, reveal. No, 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 no. How do you know how to break dance? Everybody's got a little dancing in them, John. You just gotta let it come out. No, really. Reveal the question! Oh, hey, what are creative ways to show gratitude? You can dance. Oh. Uh, you can give someone a gift. Oh, you can tell someone how you learned to break dance. <laughs> there are a lot of ways to show God and others how grateful you are, so talk about it with someone. And we'll see you next time on the- Teach me! The So-and-So Show! Teach me.